Now that ESSA has announced that it's giving up its campaign of violence, there are a whole range of uh, ramifications, certainly in the political sphere. Um, perhaps the most obvious one is that you would expect this to be some kind of a victory for the socialists, for Prime Minister Zapatero, although that hasn't translated into any kind of boost in the polls for the socialist candidate, Alfredo Perez Rubalcaba. But uh, looking north to the Basque country itself, it is uh, certainly a boost for Bildu, this coalition of Basque nationalist parties, uh, many of which are already in power in parts of the Basque country. Um, and those uh, parties have always been associated closely with ETA. And now that ETA has stopped its campaign of violence, you'd expect them to receive a big boost um, in terms of uh, political support up there. Um, but going back to Madrid, it's going to be really interesting to see how the popular party and its leader, Mariano Rajoy, handle this situation, this new situation in the Basque country in the coming months. We expect Rajoy to be the new prime minister by the end of this year, uh, following the November 20th elections. Um, Rajoy welcomed ETA's uh, announcement the other day very warmly. He said it was a real step forward. Um, and that, that was quite interesting because even some people in his own party didn't seem to quite share that view. And certainly a lot of Spaniards don't share that view. They're still very cautious and very suspicious of ETA and don't really think they should believe it when it says that it's stopping its campaign of terror. Um, so Rajoy's going to have a big task on his hands when he becomes Prime Minister, if and when, um, to persuade not just people within his own party, but also Spaniards of all stripes, that a peace, a serious peace, can be built in the Basque country over the coming months.